Dude, I would totally smash Deborah Lee. Uh, Deborah Lee, who's the CEO of BET, uh, of of, B, of the channel BET Black Entertainment Television. Like, uh, I think she she's been uh, holding down that position for like the last sixteen years, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, ever since Bob Johnson sold it to that demon Jew who, who owns Viacom. Like, uh, like it became some entity. Like, after like a, uh, the the the, the demon Jew uh, bought. VH1, MTV, and BET, and put them under the same umbrella. It, it just hasn't been the same. Like ever since, ever since um, he handed it over to Miss Boulay right here. Like a uh, BET hasn't been the same for like the last sixteen years after it, after Bob Johnson foolishly sold uh sold that channel uh to Viacom. You don't see any more black. You don't see no more black. Uh, b black channels, no more black, uh, black entertainment. Tavis Smiley, uh, Tavis Smiley is gone. So, so like, it's it's not even watchable. It's barely watchable. Like right right around the mid to late nineties, it started to become, a uh, very uh hardly watchable because they started, they started developing that street, that street uh, that that street persona because like um. Uh, BET has has white people working for them, and like they um uh, they they uh they look at rap videos, look at a certain um urban outlets, and see if that's cool. And then they they try to adapt to that, or try to uh, uh try to uh, uh, create that into a story or uh, or a show or produce a show. That that's why you saw so much uh, fuckery uh, being produced uh, on BET during the um during the um. During the late '90s, early 2000s, now it's now it's uh, now it's a now it's a stinking hot mess because the only thing they do have to uh, look for for to is um the BET Awards and uh and the BET Hip Hop Awards. Other than that, it's nothing but straight bullcrap. Hold up, hold up. But yeah, but like um, 50 Cent has his own show on there as well. But like, like you don't really look look forward to, uh to watching BET anymore because because of fuckery like this. Like, uh, because, uh, and, and, like, uh, how long has, uh, Miss Boulay, a.k.a. De uh, Deborah Lee, uh, Deborah Lee been, uh, holding out a BET, like, 16 years? <laughs> and, uh, of course, they, uh, I'm, I'm not bashing light-skinned people, but, but, like, whenever they have, like, uh, whenever, uh, somebody white who's in a high position of power, uh, gets a black person to, to, uh, give a, a Give a piece of the pot to, to a black man or woman. They always find some boule, some boule, uh, brother or sister to hold control over it. I think it's kind of humorous and it's kind of sad. But I was thinking, like, damn. Uh, like, like when I look at somebody like Deborah Lee, my cougar, I have a cougar fetish. I love fucking uh, women who are, I love fucking older women. I was thinking to myself, damn. Uh. If if I smash her, will she, will she give me some money? Will she give me a car that I need, or will she like uh, give me my own TV show? <laughs> I don't know if she's married or not. Excuse me for saying this. I don't know if she's married, but like, I think of, I would totally, uh, I I probably fuck a few thousand out of her. Uh, because uh, due to the, due to the fact that I have a cougar fetish, and she she's not that uh, hard to look. Uh, she she's a little easy on the eyes. I'm just saying. But uh, I just want to like um, how much power does does uh Deborah Lee actually have within that that realm? I know she's the CEO, she's the quote unquote CEO of BET, but how much power does she really own or have, especially when it comes to especially when it comes to Viacom uh uh, uh stock? I'm just wondering.